Hey, Dr. Mike Purcell here. Thanks for coming and watching another one of my videos. Today, I want to talk about fish oil, and specifically fish oil purity. Now, one of the things that's, that's interesting or, or kind of concerning about supplements and the way that they're regulated in the U.S. is that there aren't a lot of people looking over the shoulders of supplement manufacturers. There's not a lot of people looking at the claims they're making, checking the purity. So it's really up to the company themselves and then third parties that they pay to have tested for purity and potency. So a great example of this is fish oil. So I received this fish oil uh, in the mail the other day along with uh, like a ZMA mineral supplement and also vitamin D from a company called Pure Pharma. And the first thing that popped out at me when I looked at this Pure Pharma uh, fish oil supplement is the label that they had here on the back. You can't see it on the video, but it basically says IFOS. Now, IFOS is a, is a program that I've known about for a long time that a, not very many companies take advantage of, but it's something worth checking into if you take a fish oil supplement every day, and I recommend that you do. So what IFOS is, IFOS program, uh, you can just Google it. If you just Google IFOS program, the website will come up. And what they are is they're a third-party testing company, I believe based in Canada, and what they do is they test fish oil supplements for label claims and also impurities. So one of the reasons and one of the rubs always, you know, the discussion about eating fish or, or then even taking a fish oil supplement is, yes, you get the benefits of EPA and DHA, but those those are the omega-3 fatty acids, the kind of the real benefit for taking fish oil or, or eating fatty fish like salmon. And um, But the downside would be what else comes with those fish? So we're talking about toxins, impurities, things like mercury, um, dioxins, all kinds of other you know, nasty kind of chemicals that are found in the ocean. Now the reason this is a concern is because while it's called fish oil, the fish themselves don't actually make the omega-3s. They're produced in algae, and then the fish eat the algae, and it's concentrated in their tissues. So just as the omega-3 fats are concentrated in their tissues, Impurities and toxins like mercury and dioxins and even worse flame retardants, those these you know nasty chemicals that are found in the ocean can also be concentrated in their tissues. So what the IFOS program does is companies will send in their their products, you know, send in a batch to get tested, and it gets tested, and you can go on the website and you can actually read the sheet and you can see, you know, X company, so in this case Pure Pharma, Ultra Pure Fish Oil, right? What's the lot? You can have even look up, you know, the lot number right here is on this bottle. You look up the lot number, and you can pull up that report on the website to see, does it contain what they say it is? What are the levels of mercury? What are the levels of dioxins? What are the levels of these other, you know, chemicals and toxins that are found in the supplement? And oftentimes, I mean, most of the time, what you're going to find is that they're very low in the companies and in the companies that send their products to IFOS program to get tested because you know these companies feel good about what they're doing and feel comfortable publishing their results um, you know on the internet for everyone to see to show that they have such a high quality product now there are a couple fish oil supplements another one that I use um, and have used for over you know five years now for a long time is flame out made by a company called biotest and Flame Out, they don't actually necessarily use the IFOS program, which is fine. It's just IFOS program is really just one resource. But in another video, I'm going to show you another way if the fish oil supplement that you take isn't uh, vetted by IFOS. What's another way you can know if it's a pure and potent product? And I'll kind of show you a poor man's way of doing that based on the nutrition facts. So we'll do that in another video. But in the meantime, uh, Google IFOS program and check it out and look at all those different uh, fish oil supplements. See if yours is on the list. Check out the specs and make sure that what's in your fish oil supplement is what's supposed to be there and what isn't supposed to be there isn't in it. Okay? I'm Dr. Mike Roussel. Thanks so much for coming to this video and watching it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog at MikeRussell.com. We'll see you next time.